today will be my first video. And if you're wondering what my channel is about, it's about these little magnificent little guys. Now, I recommend these as a very good little easy pet. You don't need any heating for them, nothing. They live up to about five, six, seven years. So they're pretty easy. And today I'll be showing you how to do the whole tank setup. So firstly, you need about a tank this big. So not that big, I wouldn't get it any smaller than this. And for the bottom base, um, you could use any reptile chip or something like this. So yeah, make it like that. And you, in the tank, you'll need about three to two hides. So this is one of my hides I re um, always use. So yeah, and my other hide is this it's a little thing where they can go up and down into so yeah but no more than four heights because it might overdo the tank so let's get started as at putting the reptile chip in. now i wouldn't put too much in because it might waste the space for them So make sure it isn't too low that you can see the bottom base. Just make sure it's a nice even level like that. Now, we're going to put some, so I, you can, it's your, your choice, you can get um, leaves from outside, but I wouldn't get um, any with like little dots on it because it might be bacteria and bad and poisonous for the lizard. So anything, if it's like a clean leaf, I, you can use it because that would be in the wild if when they if they were in the wild so you could put some in no more don't overload it with them and you can put um some wood in and sticks for them to climb on so you put them like this like that so they can climb up and down on it and you can also sometimes put rocks but I wouldn't put too much rocks. And you can put a bit of bark as well. But I wouldn't overload the tank with stuff. And the hides, you can put about anywhere. Doesn't matter, just don't put them somewhere high because they could fall. So I'm gonna just put one hide. Because I just got this girl a couple of days ago. I used, my sister used to have one, so. Yeah, I'm pretty good with them. So I got this girl a couple of, about a month ago now. I'm just redoing her tank. Now, with food. Food, I would use mealworms and crickets. And maybe a wax worm every now and then. So that is pretty much the diet. You don't need to add anything else. So it's, you can, but I would only usually use about meal ones so i'll put about let's say we would put one maybe three in at a time a day and if they're eaten you could put more in or and you can put them wild around in the tank like this can't really see them but they're in there or you can get a little dish or something then put them onto the dish so the lizard can find them more easily so I do it both ways. Sometimes I'll put them in the little dish or let them, the lizard find it itself. And with water. So water every week, I put a bit of this calcium in it. You can find it in your local pet store and put that in every week. So the um, water can just be a bottle cap. It doesn't have to be much, nothing too big because it could swim in it and get lost. And yeah. Oh, and every couple of days when, when you're feeding it, I would also sprinkle a little bit of water into the tank so it helps them shed easy. It actually does, so let's put her into the tank. And I will be releasing more videos about 
how to look after them, how to get them to like you. So let's go in. So this is Paris. She's about a teenager, so she's about a year old. Not really old. I got her about when she was a couple of months, I think, yeah. And that's my tank set up. Oh, and also don't forget the lid. Bye, guys.